change be open to be stretched out of your comfort zone it's the only way to grow baby if you don't believe in yourself and what god has called you to do how will others partner with your call open a savings account for travel if you're someone who loves to travel and don't buy the things you need especially when you've told your friends to try not to buy it during your birthday season because hey, someone say fix your face you say a m a k a oh yeah yeah me say open up your heart to the will of the father open up your heart Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Amaka. A M A K A A A. -A. You already know. You already know what's popping in your area. If you're new to the podcast, welcome to the Open Up Your Heart podcast slash channel. If you're watching on YouTube. It is so amazing to have you here today. I never say it's so amazing to have you here, but it is so amazing to have you here. Um, if you're new to my channel, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to join the fam. We love new members. Let's go. Let's go. What? What? Let's go. Hey, today we're going to be talking about 24 things. 24 things. 24 things that I have learned in my 24 years of living. Uh, majority of the things I'm going to be um, doing or saying today is majorly things that I've learned this year or I've like re-evaluated this year that I've learned and so I try to do this every year like 23 things I've learned in 23 years I think I started that when I was like 21 and so I have like this record of doing this every year um, so I'm pretty excited but before we get right into today's topic let's talk about what popping in my area and so the what's popping in my area segment i gotta tell you guys what's been popping like what's been happening in my life and if you feel free to share in the comment section what's also popping in your area and so one thing that's been popping in my area is i turned 24 oh my gosh Marco, we have no idea yeah of course you turned 24 i turned 24 on tuesday and i'm super duper excited my friends threw me a small intimate surprise dinner with my like inner circle people who I love so much um, and then I got tons of gifts I did not vlog although some people said I should vlog they want to see it but I feel like I'm just in my podcast era and I really really want to focus on my podcast era next year though 2024 I'm going to be bringing some nice hot vlogs for you guys I'm super excited about that but just this year I really wanted to keep it in like you know I did post some of the things that I got on my Instagram so if you're following me at Fimbo99 you might have seen it but I got new airports for my friend I got a mic for my friend my friends came together some of them came together and they put in money and they bought me a new mic for my podcast so that was super sweet it made me cry I really did feel loved heard seen regardless of the gift or no gift I do appreciate it. But yeah, that was pretty much it for what's popping in my area. Without further ado, let's get right into today's video. And so, I'm going to be sharing 24 things in 24 years. And the first thing I wrote down that I've been practicing a lot is start your day with God and not your phone. It will make a difference. This number one thing is something that I've been trying to practice a lot. And so from Monday to Thursday, I actually turn off my phone before I sleep. And then um, when I wake up, I try to start my day with like the word of God. I try to start it with the book. Like I try to read a chapter from a book every day. Um, those are some of the few things that I've been trying to incorporate into my schedule. And I realized that when I do start my day with God, it doesn't matter what email I get. It doesn't matter what messages I get or whatever. I'm not as overwhelmed than when I do not stand, start, it, start my day with God. And so that's definitely something I've been incorporating. I do Monday to Thursday because Friday is a really busy day for me. Saturday, very busy day for me. Sunday, very busy day for me. So it's kind of harder for my routines to kind of like go through. But Monday to Thursday, I'm very rigid with like no phones in the morning. Monday to Thursday, I'm not starting it with my phone. So that's been helping me a lot. And um, but yeah, it's good. Number two, the second thing that I've loved, loved, loved to do and I've learned. Um, in the year 24 is you will lose some but you will gain much more you might lose some friends you might lose some things that you've been attached to but it is nothing compared to what God has in store for you like and 
I don't even know if I should do a video on this like in the future or a podcast on this in the future but like bro like the things I thought I lost this year compared to what God has given me as at now mind blown absolutely mind blown and so you will lose some things not you might lose some things you will lose some things and some people in terms of friendships or things that are people you thought will always be there but it's not in comparison to the people you would actually have around you so clean those tears and keep moving forward period number three don't live with expectations from people um, on your shoulders live with gratitude it's a more peaceful life don't live with expectations from people like don't live with like having expectations from people or even giving expectations to people like of course you can give expectations or have expectations on your own but like don't expect people to reciprocate that expectation back to you if that makes sense like you know i feel like before i used to live with a lot of expectations of like i expected you to be here i expected you to do this i expected bro it is so draining and people would literally fail you and so the best thing is to be grateful for those people who reach out be grateful for those people who are there in your life but don't live with that expectation to the aspect where it's literally like choking you right and so be grateful for the people who are there but don't be putting expectations on people and like you know all these things and it's it is very overwhelming and i feel like when i started to just be grateful for what i have in front of me my life did change like even just like the perspective i did have it changed drastically peaceful life hashtag peaceful life <laughs> number four is always say thank you when someone drops you off it's not your right always say thank you if someone drives you somewhere and they drop you off like always say thank you like when you open the door say thank you before you leave like even if it's even like for me like even when i drive even when my mom drives me to church or someone else like i'd always say thank you like and sometimes maybe i don't but like always say thank you it's not your right it's really nice to hear you know and it's just like don't forget it it's a tip you know you know you know number five is always try to trace the roots of your negative thoughts or feelings it's usually from something you have seen or heard whenever i have a negative thought this is something i've tried to practicalize especially this year if i'm having negative thoughts about something or someone or of the stuff like i would say to myself what is the root of this like why do i feel this way like try to trace your thought is it something i watched is it something i heard is it something someone said to me right so it's very important and like whenever you're tracing those things you actually find it like i feel like the root of this of this negative thought is because someone said this to me two weeks ago or because like i watched this movie like three weeks ago or yesterday night and i heard this thing and now i'm having this negative thought pattern or i'm having this negative idea of something that's gonna happen to me and so it's very interesting and um it's very important to trace your thoughts there's always a roots to a thought i always tell people that i counsel that there's always a roots to your thought trace it trace it trace it number six is be open to change it's the only way to grow be open to change be open to be stretched out of your comfort zone it's the only way to grow baby number seven it's okay if the people you thought would always be in your life aren't god will send new people and i feel like that kind of goes with number two you win some you win some you gain some i feel like 2024 sorry 2023 kind of hit me with some people that left my life Right, and some people who I also left their lives because I was like, bro, like, I guess to a point where your capacity and my capacity can't take each other anymore. And so, in order for us not to breed this familiarity, sometimes you gotta detach. And so, it's okay if people leave your life, there will be people who come along, who come alongside you. God will send new people. God is the redeemer. Like, honestly, God will redeem. And it will hurt, but God will redeem. I could tell you that for sure number eight no one can block your shine or what's for you not even the devil everything will work out for your good no one can block your shine understand this speak this over yourself no one can block the shine no one can block the light on the inside of you unless you let them block the light on the inside of you nobody has the capacity to block my light or block the shine or block the glory of god upon my life unless i let them unless i give them the keys to and not even the devil can number nine make a birthday list and send them to your close friends it will help them have an idea of what to get you so for me I actually make a birthday list every single year for my close friends and family and I send it to them. I'm like, yo, my birthday's coming up in case you want to get me a gift. I say, in case you want to get me a gift. 
and some people I don't say in case I just say you I'm gonna add you to my birthday list for this year and so I just add them to a birthday list this year I use them um, can't remember the name of the app or the link but it's like this registry yeah registry thing birthday registry I use the registry app and I just put on like different things that I wanted this year I put a mic on there like whatever I know that I've always wanted or I want or I need I put it on my birthday list and the biggest thing is don't buy anything for yourself around your birthday time because especially the things that are on your list because someone might just buy it for you I was so tempted to buy this mic for myself during Black Friday because Black Friday is very close to my birthday and I was like oh my gosh what if someone buys it you guys literally the mic comes in like the day of my birthday or a day before and I open it and it's the mic and so like don't buy the things you need especially when you have told your friends try not to buy it during your birthday season because they might buy it for you and if they don't that's all good you could buy it for yourself after um, I know for me I also wrote like a Bible like a journaling Bible and so it was really cool to get that like just so many things so make a birthday list they might not be able to afford it they might be able to be be able to afford it but it's always good it's a good guide i love birthday lists because it gives me a guide and so i think your friends will appreciate that as well wink wink number 10 think of a special way you can make someone else smile a bit extra every month think of a special way you can make someone smile once a month right it might be just like you know praying to god and saying god who should i help financially who should i what should i do how can i serve who should i send an encouraging note to who should i send an encouraging letter to who should i um throw a birthday surprise for this month you know for me i love surprising my friends i love like going above and beyond for the people around me when i love someone i love them hard i don't know how to just love soft like i go all out and so surprising people for their birthdays is my forte and so it's very good and it's really cool you know you don't have to go all out with balloons and cakes and everything that's not your forte but just like you know looking outside your comfort zone at least once a month and say how can i step out of my comfort zone for someone today how can i serve someone other than myself this month and so i think it's a very good thing to do number 11 is dare yourself live outside your comfort zone i actually have this timer or this reminder that comes on every day at four o'clock and it says you die in your comfort zone and so for me that's like a big reminder especially for year 24 we are coming out i really can't wait down with you Woo. number 12 is if you don't believe in yourself and what god has called you to do how will others partner with your call how will others partner with your call and this really hit me this this month um because of this mic if I didn't believe in myself and what God has called me to and start this podcast, how would my friends know that, hey, I want to buy a mic, a, a mic, a new mic, right? And so it's very important for us to start whatever you need to start, start it, right? Believe in yourself, believe in what God has called you to. Don't let the lack of resources hold you back. That's not a big enough of an excuse to hold you back from what God has called you to. Honestly, if someone tells me, oh, I'm looking for resources before I start, I'm like, you're not ready to start yet right because that's not enough reason for you not to start right there are people who start stuff without nothing right but how will people believe and know they want to partner with you if you don't even believe in yourself at first i think that's number 12 and it's very important number 13 declare god's promises over your life declare god's promises over your life number 14 read the room before you speak always oh my gosh guys rant time rants time there's this person in my class who just rants and talks and talks and talks and i'm like this woman does not know how to read the room and somebody get the mic away from her hand <sighs> guys read the room please read the room please read the room read people's body languages like sometimes you can just tell when you're talking too much and when you're over exercising something and someone else is just like you know like people's shoulders they speak like people's body languages speak so read the room before you speak like you know and just like people getting tired are they getting exhausted do they need a break do they not need a break that kind of thing it's very important and i feel like people don't realize it number 15 dance a lot dance when you're sad and dance when you're happy dance 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 there's one that says i feel better when i'm dancing yeah yeah so that's number 15 for you number 16 is be hospitable it brings a lot of blessings be hospitable like if you're someone who has a home like 
pray to the Lord. Not everybody's called to like open their doors for strangers or whatnot. Like for me, we got an open door policy in my house. Like, ciao. But be hospitable. Like, you know, like I feel like there is that extra mile that goes when someone opens their door up and says, hey, like, how can I serve someone by inviting them over for dinner? Maybe it's someone who's new to the country. Maybe someone who's new to the area. Maybe someone who's new to your church. Like, maybe someone who you want to build a friendship with. Maybe it's someone who God puts on your heart. Like, be hospitable, welcome people in, and make them feel extra, extra cozy and nice. It brings a lot of blessings also. Yup, it does. Number 17, you don't need to know someone to be kind to them. Oh my gosh, like, I always hear this thing like, oh, you don't even know me and you're so kind to me. I'm like, since when does kindness have to do with me knowing you? Kindness is a fruit of the spirit. It's not always when it's convenient for me. It's something that should show regardless of when it's convenient for me and when it's not convenient for me. And so you don't need to know someone to be kind to them. Number 18, have boundaries and stand on your non-negotiables. It will save you from a lot of tears. If you've not listened to my boundary series or my boundary podcast episode, go listen to it. I think it's called Boundaries Versus Forgiveness. Have boundaries, have boundaries. I am that person. I, I drill it into the people I mentor, people I consult, I talk to, I counsel, I speak to my friends, everybody. Boundaries with your families, boundaries with your friends, boundaries, like have your non-negotiables, like things that like, bro, like it's a no brainer. We're not talking about that. There's certain things I don't talk about with certain people. There's certain places I would never go to. There's certain people's birthdays I would never say yes to because it's a boundary for me. And I'm just like, yo, like, I already know what's going to happen, so I'm not going to do that. There's certain people's calls I don't pick up, pick up at certain times because I know that that call is about to be too long for my brain at this moment of time. That's a boundary for me. And so have boundaries if not people are gonna walk all over you and it's gonna end in premium tears so have boundaries number 19 open a savings account for travel if you're someone who loves to travel i love to travel i can't wait for 2024 because it's gonna be a great year i love to travel and i realized that year 24 year year 23 to 24 i realized that i love to travel so earlier this year I opened a savings account for travel and so I would save a little bit every single week. I would save a little bit every single week and so this year I was able to, you know, be able to spend from that travel um, savings account with no brainer from like my checkings account. I didn't have to touch that. Like it was just like, bam, okay, this is like my travel time. This is like my time. My friend came from America here and um we were able to spend so much time together and you know it was all like money from my savings account that i was able to spend and now i'm also planning to travel again soon and i was able to also spend from there and then i also traveled to nova scotia this year and i was able to use the money from my travel savings account without touching my other 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 savings accounts so i have like different savings account for different things and i was able to use that and so if you're someone who says like traveling is really important to me you know going the extra mile doing something cute adventure is really important to me you like to explore definitely open up a savings account even if you're in nigeria and you're listening to me even if it's 1000 a week or 1000 every two weeks put it in there which leads me to my next point if you're bad at saving have an accountability partner and challenge yourselves to save something once a week so i have two of my other friends plus me three of us we have uh, this thing where we save a certain amount of money every single week, every Tuesday. And so I have a reminder on my phone, save a certain amount. I won't tell you the amount, but save a certain amount every single Tuesday. It pops up on my on my phone every Tuesday. And then also, I also have them texting me every Tuesday we know. Text this person, so we text the three of us, text each other. We're like, save this amount, save this amount. And every single week, and we calculated like how much we'll be able to save at the end of the year. And once we saw how much we'll be able to save, such a little peanut amount of money every single week, how much we're able to save at the end of the year, we were really shocked. And I feel like that also really helped us to be like, yo, like, let's challenge ourselves. And so that was very, very, very cool. And so if you're someone who cannot naturally save on your own, I would recommend have some accountability partners. You guys come together and say, how much do you guys think we can save individually? We're not saving together, by the way. I'm not saying do a job or put your money together. That's 
if you want to do that but for us it was like just an individual reminder in our own savings account to save this certain amount every single week so in one try to shower without music sometimes you might get some new ideas in there i don't know about you guys maybe this is not a problem for you but for me i feel like i always shower with music all the time and i feel like there's just this thing of like i need to take my phone everywhere like i need to take my phone to you know to my room i need to take my phone to the shower i need to take my phone to hear and there and play music and there really isn't that time to be quiet and i feel like in 2024 i'm going to continually try to practice quietness number 22 is don't look at anything that god calls you to do as an option take it as a command and move so for you like whatever god is calling you to do in this season are you struggling with it to do it because you look at it as an option if you look at something as an option you're not gonna do it because you're like you i get to do it or i don't get to do it for me it's like i don't get to choose i just get to say yes it's a privilege to work for god and so that's something that's really helped me out in terms of obedience of like go, bro like it doesn't matter how hard it is god i just thank you for even the opportunity to be able to do it and i just do it and you know of course there's sometimes when i'm disobedient and i procrastinate but you get the point 23 don't wear your anger on your face fix your face 23 is fix your face fix your face someone say fix your face my sister's like what's wrong with this girl number 24 the last one the one that i'm so passionate about address issues as soon as you can don't let it pile up bro have hard conversations and that's an episode that i recorded and hopefully it will come out soon <laughs> bro have hard conversations address issues if you don't let it pile up guys write it down if you're someone who like things pile up for you you have you have like you know fights and things with your friends and it piles up like try to be that person in the new year where you're saying to yourself i don't want to go into like like have a deadline like is it two days is it three days and i'm gonna tell them like for me it's like one and a half day and i bust like i bust up woman like i'm not keeping that thing in because my heart is so innocent and it's so precious to god and it's so delicate i don't want anything to rub my anointing off and so i be telling people stuff like i have conversations as i said read the room don't just go there and start blabbing like read the room and see and yeah that is it for today's podcast i don't want it to be too too long i know i kind of sped up a little bit or a tad a lot bit there but I hope that these things that I've learned in my 24 years of living bless you always. And yeah, let's pray. Let's pray, guys. Uh, thank you, Jesus, so much for today. Thank you, Lord, for the privilege to be able to share 24 things I've learned in 24 years. Oh, God. Thank you, God, for adding, adding another year to my life. I thank you for a person who is just taking out time out of their busy schedule to listen to today's uh, episode i pray oh god that these things stand out to them and even if it's one thing oh god that stands out to them i pray it will be a blessing i pray we'll be able to implement more and more of these things into our lives i pray that we'll not just be hearers of your word that we'll be doers of your word oh god give us the grace thank you lord for everything you do in our life and everything you continually do in jesus name amen amen thank you guys so much for listening to the podcast episode to the end i really appreciate it Please don't forget to like. When you like the video, it tells YouTube that you like it and they should share it more. And please don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. And comment below. I really want to see um, what of my lessons, what, what number from my lessons stood out to you. Like, was it number 15? Was it number 24? Was it number 23? I would love to hear it in the comment section below. And don't forget to share the video if you're blessed by it. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video video don't forget to go into this week hyped excited and delighted let's go